Hello everyone and welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this episode of VT Workshop, we're going to be looking at some sample questions of the VIT Triple E exam, especially from chemistry. So let's start off. Today's first question is, the correct formula of the complex tetraamine aquachlorocobalt 3 chloride is one of the four options. So, how do we solve this question? Well, the first thing to note here is that the name tetraamine aquachlorocobalt 3 chloride indicates that the charge of cobalt would be 3. And that is because of the fact that there is a 3 present in the name. So the charge of cobalt here would be 3 plus, which means that we need to find out which of these um, which of these formulas, pr prospective formulas, has cobalt as a plus 3 charge. Now here, this complex doesn't have any charge, so therefore the total charge would be 0. So if you look at the first formula, ClH2O NH34CO, um, here we have chlorine, so that's a negative 1. Halogens have minus 1. Water is 0. We're looking at AMMI -E, amine, which is basically ammonia, ammonia molecule, so therefore NH3 also has a total charge of zero. And then cobalt, we'll consider that to be X, and then there's the charge of chlorine again, which is minus one. And all of that is equal to zero. This means that the charge of X would be two instead of three. So therefore, option A is incorrect. If you look at the second um, formula, again, it's the same uh, idea. It's just rearranged differently. So we have one chlorine here, one chlorine here. Those, those contribute minus two charge. And to balance that out, cobalt would have plus two. Again, that's the wrong answer. Similar story for option C. However, in option D, you've got two chlorine atoms outside the complex and one inside. Now this will give us x plus minus 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 times of minus 1. That gives you 0 on the right hand side. So that means x minus 3 is 0, which means x equals 3. So therefore option D, COCl H2O NH3 4 times Cl2 is the correct formula of the complex tetraamine aquachlorocobalt 3 chloride. Now, let's look at another question. The equivalent, um, let's underline it here, the equivalent conductance at infinite dilution of a weak acid such as HF, and you have four options can be determined by extrapolation of measurements on dilute solutions of HCl, HBr, and HI, can be determined by measurement on very dilute HF solutions, can best be determined by, from measurements on dilute solutions of NaF, NaCl, and HCl. D, it is an undefined quantity. Now, we have this weak acid at infinite dilution and we need to find out the equivalent conductance. Um, so infinite dilution, if you have something at infinite dilution, then the law that applies here is called Colroche's law. Now what does this law say? One of the statements of this law is that conductivity of an electrolyte at infinite dilution is equal to the sum of the conductances of anions and cations. So how do we form HF? HF is formed using this particular equation. So we react HCl with sodium fluoride, 
and um, over, and this gives us hydrofluoric acid and sodium chloride. Now, as you can see, there is complete dissociation happening here. The reason being that there is no uh, messy charges that it's left about. It's all nice and clean. Um, so this also, when you have Carl Roche's law applied to any particular equation, and if that equation has complete dissociation, then that means each ion will have a definite contribution towards individual conductance. So if you want to know the equivalent conductance of HF, you can find it by the sum of conductances of anions and cations. And since it's it has complete dissociation happening in that particular reaction, then that means all of the uh, given what do you call it, anions and cations in that particular reaction, would contribute to an individual conductance. So since HF um, is on the right-hand side, um, the, the ones on the left-hand side would have positive charge, so equivalent conductance of NAF plus equivalent conductance of HCl plus, and then you have negative of equivalent conductance of NaCl. That's because it's on the right-hand side. So it's best determined from Benjamin's on dilute solutions of NaF, NaCl, and HCl. So option C, according to Kohlroche's law, turns out to be the correct way to calculate the equivalent conductance at infinite dilution of a weak acid such as hydrogen fluoride. Now we have the final question for today. The product A in this particular chain of reactions is succinic acid, malonic acid, oxalic acid, malic acid. So um, what we have here is a haloalkane. This is um, iodoethane. Um, iodoethane is first reacted with alcoholic um, potassium hydroxide. And alcoholic potassium hydroxide leads to dehydrogenation. And when you have a dehydrogenation, it goes and reacts to its... It goes and forms... The haloalkane forms its corresponding ethene. Now, ethene means that um, the carbon bond, carbon carbon bond, is a double bond. So that means we have C2H4 as the X product. Now, the ethene here is then reacted with bromine and CCl4. So when you have halogen and CCl4, you form a haloalkane from, an eth from the alkene. So since here it was ethene, the product Y, in this case, is CH2CH2 BR. So this is dibromoethane. So dibromoethane is Y. Now, dihaloalkane, when reacting with um, potassium cyanide, would form the cyanide of that particular organic compound. So the product Z would turn out to be CH2CH2CNCN. And finally, when the cyanide of an organic compound is put in an acidic medium, then it forms a carboxylic acid. So what we get in the end is 
CH C O O H C H two C H two C O O H, which basically is an ethane molecule with two um, carboxylic groups. Now this is what we call option A succinic acid. So option A succinic acid turns out to be the right option. Now that concludes this episode of Viti Workshop. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate for your partner in a your partner in education. If you want to get the latest updates from our channel, then please don't forget to hit the bell icon present below. So until the next episode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.